Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show how to create this matte transition in HitFilm Express. So this particular matte transition came from Production Crate. There is a link in the description below. You can click on that link and it will take you straight to Production Crate. You can create your own account for free. And then if you look under VFX and Media Elements, Transitions and click on that, and find matte modern motion graphics, then you will see that there are 30 different matte transitions available here, of which 10 of them are for people who do not have a pro account. In other words, they're free. So this particular transition here, which is the sliding bars transition, is the one that I'm going to use. It is free and it is also available in 4K. So in this example, what I want to do is I want to have this shot of the outside of the house with chicken, and then it pans up to look at the outside, and then we see the inside of the house, okay? And I want to use a matte transition to transition between these two. So the first thing I'm going to do is right-click on the inside of the house and make it into a composite shot and click OK. So the first thing I want to do is use the footage crate transition matte square slide. And if I turn off the uh, video for a second, you can see how that is coming in. But remember that it was in 4K, so it's much bigger than it needs to be. So I'm going to right click on it and transform fit to frame. So now it's exactly in the frame. I'll go ahead and scale this back to fit. And so now you can see how that is coming across. And if I under options, select checkerboard background, you can see that it's actually transparent and that's what I need. Now, I want this particular transition actually to come from left to right, so I am going to just open this up, open up the transform properties, and I am just going to make the X scale negative 50% so that it comes in from the other side, just like that. It's very simple. So now that I've set that up, I can go ahead and tick off the visibility. We'll turn back on the visibility of the inside video clip and I will search for set matte effect and I will drag that onto the inside visibility. The other way to do that instead of searching it up here in the effects tab would be to open up the asset and then under effects click the little plus icon and it will bring up this and if i just start typing set matte effect i can click on that and it will drop it in here if i open this up i will now use as a source layer the other um the the actual matte transition and so now you can see how it is appearing here this way. Now you'll notice that as soon as it ends, in other words, I get to the very last one, then it's gone because that's gone. So what I'm going to do is just slice this off. Uh, and then if I open up um, this, I can go ahead and just delete that. So now it is not affected after the fact. Right now, if I come back out to the editor timeline, you can see that it comes up and then it does this thing. Obviously, I want it to transition itself. So what I'm going to do is just grab this, slide it up to the next video track, and now it will transition into this shot. And it's really that simple. Again, I can use any transition that I find online, but I would suggest checking out Footage Crate first, or Production Crate as it's called. The link is in the description below. Click on that, set up your free account, download these 10 free ones, and play around with that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Do me a favor, if you like this kind of video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell icon for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.